Hey y'all, uh, this is Michael here. So in today's video, we are gonna basically show you how I'm gonna basically show you how to uh, flash Lineage OS 14.1 into the Nexus 9 itself. The only reason why I'm doing this is because um, I've been using this for my daily driver for quite some time, running on stock ROM. And uh, I do find it there are some issues that I'm encountering. There are some micro lag happening here and there during my usage. It's just very light usage, not even heavy. And of course, um, besides that, then there will be a. I'm I'm actually installing apps to do the blue light filtering and stuff for the stock firmware during the nighttime reading. And um, I do love the features that Lineage OS has that they can actually has a built-in setting stuff and you can actually set the night mode and stuff for reading without having installing extra stuff so that's one reason why I'm flashing to Lineage OS and and use it for my for my nighttime reading and stuff so um, without further ado so let's just just let us just continue on with the um, with the setup process to get this baby flash to Lineage OS 14 and of course, um, before we move on to that, uh, this is the case I've been using. It's a poetic case, as you can see it. It's a pretty good case. If you guys want, I can actually leave a link down below for you guys to download this. And I've been protecting my Nexus 9s ever since I got it, which is pretty good. And there are some um, nano protection film that I have as well, which I'll include the link down below for you guys. We want to get some of that to protect your tablet itself from any injuries, right? So, okay, let's just get on with it. Before you start off anything, you'll need to enable USB debugging. So normally what we do is uh, type on a build number for 7 times and you're now a developer. So after that, what you can do is go back, then you can see a developer option. So as you can see here, they are OEM unlocking and they are also USB debugging. This one needs to be on, okay. And US OEM unlocking, basically you need to enable it so that you can actually unlock your boot loader in fast boot mode. Right, so what you can, what you need to do is to do that. So like what I said, re regardless whether you are flashing back to stock factory ROM or you are doing a lineage OS flashing, this needs to be enabled so that you can unlock during the fast boot mode for your flashing. Okay, let's move on to the computer for the next rest of the setup. Okay, once you have all the um, USB debugging and stuff enabled, so what you need to do now is to connect your, um, I mean like the Nexus Nine your PC itself so once it's connected yeah you can just move on to the PC for the rest of the process okay once you have connected your tablet to the uh, computer so the next thing you can do is to uh, make sure that you have ADB installed I'll leave a link down below for the ADB so I'll be using minimal ADB and fast boot which is the simplest for you to install and use so once you have that done, we can proceed on to the process. So first, first, first thing first, what you need to do is to do ADV devices to ensure that the device is connected. As you can see now, it's connected. Uh, if it comes out with unauthorized, then what you need to do is just to accept the uh, prompt on your tablet itself to uh, authorize the use of this machine for the tablet itself. So when that is done, what you need to do next is to do uh, ADV reboot. But of course, before we start, that make sure that you have your uh, Lineage OS installation zip files as well as your GApps installation zip files copied to your device itself. If you have problems moving or copying the, the files into your device, then I'll show you a siloed method later once we are uh, into recovery mode. So now what we can do is we do an ADB reboot boot loader to boot yourself into fast boot mode. So once you have done that, your device should be rebooted in fast boot mode. Then we'll just proceed from there. So once your device is booted into fast boot mode, so the next thing you need to do is to do a recovery flash so that you can actually proceed with the custom ROM flashing. So the, the recovery that we'll be using is TWRP, the latest version, so Flounder. I'll show you a link down below where you can download that as well. So what you can do now is do a fast boot devices to ensure your device is connected. So you can see fast boot devices is there. So what you need to do now, there's two options. You can actually boot TWRP recovery for for the um, for the process of flashing custom ROM and not permanently flash recovery or you can choose to permanently flash recovery but for me itself I'll be using this tablet with custom ROM for a while so I will just flash it rather than rather than keep the stock recovery because it doesn't really matter 
So what I'm gonna do now is do a fast boot slash recovery. Then you just do a TWRP recovery image. So if you want, you can just do a fast boot boot TWRP if you are not flashing it directly. So I will be doing flashing directly. So I just enter. Okay, and it's done. So recovery has been flashed. So you can go the, over to your mach, um, your tablet now to actually reboot into recovery. Let's just get on with it. So once your device get rebooted, you can actually check for EDB devices again to ensure the device is connected. So when the device connected, what you can do now is you want to actually go into recovery. So you can do an ADB reboot recovery, I guess. So we can try to do an ADB reboot recovery. Then you should be booted into recovery into your from your Nexus device itself. Okay, as, as you can see now, we are booting. We are, we are booting into re recovery the custom TWRB recovery. So once you are done with that, that what I said. Um, normally, what you do is you just swipe to allow modification. Okay, so once you are in the recovery screen, you can actually go to your computer now to try to load in to actually do a, a file transfer to in, to be to the, your tablet itself using the ADB features. Okay, so once you are booted into recovery, what you can do next is to actually check on ADB devices. Make sure your device is connected. So once your device is connected correctly, so what you can do is do ADB push as an H and to slash SD card slash. So normally what you can do now is just press enter. This file will be start pushing into the tablet itself. So the reason why you are doing this is because either you have issues directly connecting using MTP and copy the file over to your tablet before you do the flashing, or any other way you can't you can't actually connect uh, you can't actually transfer the installation zip files into the into the uh, tablet itself. So this is a pretty simple way to do that, and most of the time it should work once you're in recovery. So you just push the file in to the SD card folder for both this uh, Lineage OS uh, zip file as well as the OpenGFs. So once you are done with the um, Lineage, so now you do ADB push, OpenGFs, then to slash SD card again, and just press enter. And we'll push the second file in, and we'll just wait for it to complete. Once we are done, we can actually move ourselves back to the tablet for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once the copy or the ADB push has been done, you can actually try to reboot to recovery again for a fresh start. So you can do a do not install and you do a reboot to recovery again for a fresh start. So once you are booted back into recovery mode, so the next thing we need to do is to do a wipe. So normally you do a either factory reset or you can do an advanced wipe. What I normally do is to wipe everything except for internal storage because that's where all the zip files is located, right? So um, I'll just do a swipe of wipe here. So when that is done, then we will move on to the... Uh, you can just press this actually do an install. And this is your the niche, add more zips, gfs. Then once you have added everything, what you need to do is just to do a swipe to confirm flash. Then they will be doing the process so we just need to wait wait it out and once it's done we can reboot and to a new lineage OS okay, so as you can see now the um, the flashing has completed so what we can do now is to wipe the Dalby cache so once that is done we can reboot the system you just put reboot do not install and yep it will be booted again and the first boot will normally take quite a while so we just need to wait it out Okay, now your Nexus 9 has been booted up with Lineage, so you can just put next, and we'll just put next for English United States. Date and time, uh, we can actually do it later, or you can do it now, we can do it later. And uh, this to select, we can skip it as well, skip anyway. Mm. Next, 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 skip, and start. So this Lineage OS on the Nexus 9 itself. So 
if you guys encounter problem booting up during the uh, problem of having boot loop uh, during the process of booting up the tablet itself so what you can do is actually do a separate flashing um, using the GF because sometimes there might be an issue where I encounter issues is with when I flash GFs together with Lineage OS uh, they have a boot loop issues meaning I can't get the device to boot properly into this this thing here as you can see now there's no GFs available yet for this for this thing so you can actually boot to recovery and flash again the GFs in order to have the GFs in place for this right so um so if you guys have any issues with this, do let me know. Um, and that's the end of today's video. Uh, we have done with the um, Lineage OS installation on the Nexus 9 itself. Do leave me a question in the comments down below if you have any. Um, and please give it a thumbs up if you like the video that I'm doing. And uh, I'll hope to see you again soon. Bye!